Hey people, welcome to the month of June and this month we're going to be talking about something that's very special. Uh, first of all, let me say again, welcome to the entire wow man experience and we're in the fifth month and so I'm sure that by now you've seen some growth in your life. I hope so and I truly believe that if you've been following everything we've been doing, you by now there should be some serious change and growth in your life and that's what god wants to see he plants a seed in us and he waters it so that he can see us grow and that's really where the joy is seeing yourself evolve and change to become a better version until you become a wow man of yourself wow man So this month, we're going to be talking about mentoring. Yes, mentoring. And I know that a lot of people have a different mindset about mentoring. I've heard a lot of talk about mentors. In fact, I've heard people say, oh, I don't need anybody to mentor me. Only Jesus is my mentor. Thank you. Thank you very much. <laughs> but the truth is that God has a a, a way that he patterns things. If you look all over the Bible, you will see that God had men, mentor men. Okay, so God had people, human beings in our lives. In fact, that's what Jesus came to do for us. Jesus came as a man, even though he was God, to live as a man, to show us what it takes to live on this earth as a child of God. He showed us what we could be, opened us up to possibilities. And isn't that what a mentor does for you? A mentor shows you the hope that is inside you. A mentor shows you possibilities, what you can become. And I think that every time you look at someone you call your mentor, that person is literally just a stepping stone to the path that God has mapped out for you. So the truth is, like they say, we see far because we stand on the shoulders of giants. Many have gone ahead of us and done great things. And I personally have been mentored by a lot of people. I've told my stories over time, how I've been pastored and mentored by great people. Even people who do not know me. For instance, I've been mentored for a long time by Joyce Mayer. Yeah, she doesn't know me, but I read her books, I follow her life, I go to her conferences, I follow closely. The truth is, mentoring, eh, if you really want me to tell you the truth, is more about the mentee than about the mentor. It's about the person who wants to learn. And as they say, once the student is ready, the teacher will appear. So this month, we want to focus on mentoring. I want to create opportunities for you to understand what it means to be mentored and what it means to be a mentor. And everyone is called not just to be mentored, but to be a mentor. So if you read through the Bible, you will see many, many times where God set up this kind of relationship, where there was a mentoring relationship. We can go as far back as Moses. Moses was ruling the, the tribes and he was, every day he would sit and hear their issues. Somebody stole salt, somebody's donkey did not stand up, somebody's uh, cow pooped in my farm, somebody, he, all kinds of ridiculous things. And he was listening to these things by himself. When his father-in-law appeared, his father-in-law said, Moses, are you kidding me? This thing you are doing is not good for you or for the people. This is what you need to do. And he taught Moses delegation. That's a mentor. Obviously, for him to be able to teach Moses, it means that he had set up that system in his own life. So a mentor is really a picture of your future. So don't just pick a mentor because the mentor is popular. Don't pick a mentor because the mentor is inspirational. Pick a mentor because that person is a picture of what you would like to be in your future. Pick a mentor, someone who has been where you want to go and has survived it with victories and testimonies. So don't just pick a mentor because oh, everybody's making noise about that person. Oh, this person is the latest rave. Pick someone who can actually have opportunities to answer your questions and show you the path. Pick someone who will tell you the truth. These are the challenges, this is what to expect, and this is how you must address these things. It's so important that you understand a mentoring relationship. And I've found out that in fact, what a lot of people want is not a mentor, it's a loan talk. Yes, it's not a mentor. Most people are looking for who they can go to with their dreams and the person can fund it with money. That's not what a mentor does. Your mentor is not, is not there to be, even be your cheerleader. Your mentor is there to be your coach. Your mentor is to tell you, this is what you need to do, this is how you need to do. And you come back with reports of this is what I have done with the instruction you've given me and this is the progress I've made and the person can send you back again. In fact, what some other people have is not mentor, is not a loan tour, is a tormentor. 
Some people are just bullies. They bully you into shape. And that's not exactly what God wants. Sometimes these people torment you till you lose the little that you brought to them. You start to forget who you are. You start to change. They want to torment you into becoming tiny versions of them, mini-me's. And that's not God's plan. God wants you to evolve. Take whatever lesson you're learning from this person and use it to become better or to become a better version of yourself, not of them. So a lot of times people have messed up the whole process of mentoring, what God had planned out for mentoring. So people avoid mentors. But this month, I want to encourage you. That's not God's plan. So can we go back to God's original plan? This month, let's look at some of the people who were mentors in the Bible, some of the people who were mentored in the Bible and how that affected and changed their lives. And to be honest, one of the things God wants is for each one of us to have someone that we're mentoring. Listen, every Paul must have a Timothy. There must be someone you're pouring into. There must be someone that you are definitely pouring into and you're telling them you can't do this because I did it. I can see that there are many more things that you can do. So this month, we're going to focus on mentoring. Don't miss it for anything in the world. We're going to send out all the outlines into your tribes. Why haven't you joined the tribe? Why? Do you know all the things you're missing? This is the fifth month. You still have a chance to catch up on all that we've been doing. So please go and join the tribe. If you're watching this, you're already a member of our tribe. So why don't you just register to officially become one so we can know you, we can pray with you, and we can grow together. And don't forget, at the end of this month, we're going to have our prayer session together here, live on this YouTube channel. Remember to share, to like, to hit that notification bell so that you will know when the next video pops up. God oh, bless you. Wow, man.